iOS 26 Beta 5 is here. And while it might seem like there are no major changes at first glance, Apple continues to fine-tune the system with incredible attention to detail. This build brings dozens of subtle updates, and together, they shape the overall feel of the new iOS. Smooth, light, and alive. Today, we're going through all the most important changes, from new animations and redesigned buttons to visual tweaks that are easy to miss. Now, when you wake the screen, even before entering your passcode, face ID, or touch ID, there's a new animation where the display subtly bounces into view. This small detail adds a sense of responsiveness and depth to the interface. Instead of a static transition, you see a micro-movement that makes the screen feel alive. It's especially noticeable in dark mode or while music is playing. The effect feels almost cinematic. If you're still using a numeric passcode to unlock your iPhone, take note, the digits no longer just appear instantly, they now fly in with a soft, fluid motion. This visual touch makes the input process feel more playful and, more importantly, highlights Apple's attention to detail. Every tap feels deliberate and precise, especially on newer models with 120Hz displays. When you enter edit mode to move or delete apps, the minus buttons now use a semi-transparent liquid glass texture. Previously, they were just solid gray, similar to what we saw back in iOS 18. Now, they blend seamlessly with the iOS 26 design, matching the overall glassy aesthetic. It's especially noticeable with colorful wallpapers. The buttons adapt to the background, softly blurring whatever's behind them. The semi-transparent background under the dock is now wider. Liquid glass extends further around the icons, visually separating the dock from the rest of the home screen. It's more than just a visual effect. It reinforces the layout and structure of the interface. The dock now feels like a distinct element, especially when swiping between pages. After updating to iOS 26, many built-in apps now show a welcome screen that briefly highlights what's new. These splash screens make it easier to get up to speed after the update and quickly understand what's changed. For example, in Mail, the new message selection interface is introduced right away and in camera, the latest settings are previewed. It's a smooth way to adapt to the update, even for users who usually skip the release notes. The camera app now includes a classic mode option that lets you reverse the swipe direction when switching between shooting modes. If you're used to the old layout, where photo and video were on the left and portrait was on the right, you can bring that behavior back. It's especially helpful for photographers who rely on muscle memory and quick gestures, reducing the chance of accidentally landing in the wrong mode. The Mail app has brought back the Select button, which was previously hidden inside the three-dot menu. Now you can quickly choose multiple emails to delete, move, or mark as read, making daily inbox management much easier, especially if you receive a high volume of messages. This change came in response to negative feedback from earlier betas, and it's a clear example of Apple listening to users. AirDrop in the Share menu now features a new, more modern icon. It looks cleaner, with thinner lines and better alignment with the overall iOS 26 design. It might seem like a small change, but given how often AirDrop is used, it's a nice visual upgrade. Now, when you swipe between Control Center pages, there's a smooth, spring-like animation. It makes the transitions feel more natural, and the UI elements seem almost dynamic. You'll notice it most on iPhone Pro models with high refresh rates. The interface doesn't just feel fast, it feels alive. If you long press the Wi-Fi icon in Control Center, you'll now see more details, like whether the network is private and if it's password protected. If the Wi-Fi requires a password, a small lock icon appears next to the network name. It's especially useful when connecting in public places like cafes, airports, or hotels, giving you a quick sense of how secure the connection is. Siri can now recognize when you're preparing to travel and suggest relevant actions. For example, if you're heading abroad, the system will proactively offer tips about cellular networks, eSIM setup, data plans, and roaming. It makes Siri feel smarter and more context-aware, 
without needing you to ask first. In the Wallet app, the button for managing Apple Card payments is now labeled Pre-Authorized Payments instead of just Payments. This new label makes it clearer what the action actually does. It's not for a one-time payment, but for managing recurring authorized charges. It helps reduce confusion, especially for new Apple Card users. When your battery drops to 20%, a new alert banner appears. It's bolder, more contrasty, and visually focused on encouraging power saving. If you have an iPhone with Dynamic Island, the warning shows up right in the island, subtle, but easy to notice. This makes it less likely you'll miss the alert when your battery gets low. When you swipe down to Open Notification Center, it still remains fully transparent, even when there are active notifications. In the previous beta, Apple tested a darker background to improve readability, but that's been removed in this version. It seems Apple is still fine-tuning the balance between visual clarity and aesthetic lightness. And for now, they've leaned back toward a cleaner, more transparent look. The Fitness app now features a new icon for Fitness Plus with a cleaner design that better matches the overall iOS 26 style. iOS 26 Beta 5 doesn't bring major new features, but it feels more refined than ever. Every small detail, from button textures to subtle animations, brings the system closer to its final form. Everything looks cleaner, smoother, more polished. If Apple keeps going in this direction, the final release of iOS 26 could be one of the most polished versions in years. Let us know in the comments what changes you've noticed and how your beta is running. Subscribe so you don't miss the full review and final iOS 26 breakdown.